<laughs> All right, with with fourteen, the last problem on the test, we've got two variables. They're on both sides of the equation. Okay, I can't get them to the same side. They don't have the same base. Not only do they not have the same base, there's no way I can make a three look like a five. Uh -oh. Right? Nope. So now like a, a, a two can look like a 16, or a 32, or a 64. A 3 can look like a 27, or an 81. But a 5 and a 3, they'll never look the same. Well, they could, but it takes some serious work. Okay? It's a lot easier just to take the log of both sides. And you can take the log, or you can take the natural log. It's up to you. Doesn't matter. In pre-cal, I teach natural log, because that's what the book wants us to do, because they're getting ready for calculus. Okay? So I figured in here we might as well start up learning that logs and natural logs are the same. Okay? Well, the natural log has a base E. The other log has a base 10. We know that. So let's just use natural logs. Whenever you see an E up here, you're going to use natural logs, right? Because the natural log of E is going to be 1. We can reduce it. Okay? All right. So... In the same aspect, if I seen a 10 up here, I would want to use a I would want to use the normal log. Okay? Alright, so I take a natural log of both sides. What that allows me to do is to do the power rule and say that I've got x minus 2 times the log of 5. And x minus 1 times the log of 3. Now everybody on the block gets the paper, okay? So it's going to go this way this time, okay? So the natural log of 5 times x is x natural log 5. The natural log of 5 times negative 2 is negative 2 natural log 5. That equals, and you do the same thing over here, x natural log 3 minus 1 times the natural log, well this is natural log 3. Okay? The next step, I need to get the x's together. Okay? I'm going to move this x. Minus x ln 3. Okay? Minus x ln 3. Since I moved this, i got to move that over there. Plus 2 ln 5 plus 2 ln 5. When it's all said and done, this cancels, this cancels, right? Oh, whoops. Damn it, damn it. Canceled the wrong one. This cancels and this cancels. Sorry about that. All right. And so, these, this becomes x ln 5 minus x ln 3, which equals... And I'm going to put the positive one first. 2 ln 5 minus 3, or ln 3, okay? Now, I'm going to put some things together. Well, should I take it apart first? Probably should take it apart first. Yeah, like three minutes, so. All right, let's do it. Take this out. I got x. And when I pull the x out, I'm left with ln 5. Minus ln 3. Okay, since I'm short on time, I'm going to put this together now. Isn't that just ln of 5 to the squared? What is 5 squared? 25, good. Okay. And then 25, and then so when we minus, we do what? The Wait, what? <laughs> what <laughs> I'm sorry. It's I'm all right. Sorry. It's all good. All right, so it's 25 divided by 3. That's all. Right? And this one, this should be x times ln of 5 divided by 3 is equal to ln 25 divided by 3. And now, I just divide both sides by ln 5 divided by 3, ln 5, 20, yeah, 5, 
divided by 3, and this cancels. I get x is equal to the ln of 25 over 3 divided by the ln of 5 over 3. Okay? And then I plug that into my calculator to get the approximate answer. Uh -oh. ln 25 divided by 3 divided by ln 5 divided by 3 equals 4.15. Okay, so it's approximately 4.15, just in time for the bell.